Hey everyone, so I'm here to share with you how to use my worksheets for your students. These worksheets are good for beginner and intermediate level students. Also, I'm having a sale from now until March 1st on my website, AppliedESL.com, where if you buy two sets of worksheets, you get the third one for free. That means you will have a total of 25 worksheets. Yay! So if you are a teacher, a tutor, or someone who is looking for some extra resources, please check out this sale. You can use my code worksheets from now until March 1st. And if more people are interested, I can always extend it to a longer time. So definitely check it out and always try your best. Okay, family, let's get started. So the first one we're going to talk about is job interview. You can use this worksheet of pictures to match the vocabulary words. And you can also look at the pictures by answering what is correct and what is not correct. The same for resume, the same for the two pictures. So the whole goal is for your students to be able to identify the vocabulary words that they already know using the pictures and the examples. This is a great thing to use if you are giving homework assignments, in-person or remote classes where you're trying to get your students to talk and work together. So I created this way so they can practice conversation and talk to each other. For this set, there are eight worksheets in total. Now let's go to the doctor, conversation practice. Conversation or pair work, this is a great way for students to identify vocabulary words, looking at the picture and using it in a dialogue. The same in this example as well. Teacher Dora went to the doctor a lot. <laughs> Also, I wanted to include masking because again, we are still in the pandemic, so masking is important. And it gives students a chance to really think about why do we need to wear masks? And even if it seems like common sense for a lot of people, believe it or not, every place varies when it comes to wearing a mask. Now let's buy some food from the supermarket. Matching is a great way for students to look at a picture and match it with the correct answer. This can be done in pairs as well. You're going to be using the pictures to write. For example, where is she and what is she doing? Which items are in aisle five? This is a way to identify the vocabulary words in the aisle as well as in the picture. Now you can model this with your students before handing them this worksheet. I would highly recommend for a teacher or tutor to model to show the students what you want them to do. In this example, this is very helpful in helping your students learn how to read circulars, or as we like to say, flyers. When you go to a supermarket, this is very common to see what food is on sale and its prices, as well as the weight of the food, such as meat or vegetables. And then we talk about outdoor markets. What is the difference between an outdoor market and a supermarket? This is very important because the prices will vary at both places. In this set, there are nine worksheets. 